Hi, this is Jerry, JCCG, welcome to my channel, and this is to me, uh, I guess, a, a blog, or uh, actually a video response to uh, Volcanic's, uh, 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 day, uh, 12, May 12th video on, uh, on his, uh, his uh, favorite toys, that uh, apparently he, uh, he lost <laughs> Baba Fett, a long time, Thomas Baba Fett, he lost uh, as a child, and uh, uh, when I was growing up as a child, we didn't have, we didn't know, but there weren't action figures, and so what we had was just like solid rubber or plastic toys to play with, and when I was a kid, I don't have everything, I had, uh, it's just like with the, uh, uh, Cowboys, the little classic cowboys I have. I don't think they're in here. I don't think so. They're around somewhere. But these I, this is my box I had as a kid. Uh, I guess it's my father's shoe box. I, I, I kept a box to put all my, my rubber and heavy hard plastic uh, animals in there. I like animals, and so I'll show you what I'm talking about. I hope uh, it says Jerry's. Uh, you see that or not? Uh, Jerry's. Jerry. Animals. <laughs> and I even have a list. Uh, I have 115 animals. I have a list in here of what animals I had. Uh, you see that? You had a couple of raccoons in there. I don't know if I still have all those or not, but you can see there's a lot of animals in there. So, and uh, before I get started, I want to break this so I can insert. Uh, I just made a little clip of a uh, volcanic show and I'll walk down a path of losses. And I, I uh, one of my favorite courses when I went to Humboldt State in Arcata was, was bar a barrel fight class. Uh, taught by uh, a Dr. Norris, who uh, is currently or was at uh, UC Berkeley now, uh, but he really got me interested in losses, and uh, I never forgot that course. And uh, so I, uh, over the past many years, I managed to get from people around the country uh, different loss plans, but unfortunately, uh, they require a lot of care because where I'm at. It's dry, windy, and gets hot. It's humidity. It's always low, and I have to provide that the humidity and the water, the, and uh, constantly sometimes. And uh, oh, I think uh, three, what well, three or four Christmases ago, I got sick with pneumonia. I was sick for at least two months. It took me at least two months just to get back on my feet. And in the meantime, my care of my plants went down the tube, and so did the plants, and I lost a lot, unfortunately, but it's not, I, it could not be helped. But a few survived, and so I, I might show you a clip of the only one, the major one that I knew about in a pot that survived, and then another pot with some uh, are. I, I think it could be back a little bit, but I don't know what they are. Uh, so I'm going to have a, a clip right right after I, oh, I cut this off and you have that. And then uh, 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 what we call it, a uh, journal page. I did on the, on the loss that survived. It's, it's called Atricum Selenii from Washington. It occurs down into Northern California, I believe. So, on my break at this moment. This is the only moss I have left, really, that was growing in a pot. There might be some in this one right here. But those are basically it. And, uh, I have a whole bunch. 
Okay, now that you learned about the laws, let me show you the... I, I've done these before, some of them. Now I'm going to go real fast because this could be a really long movie, but... <coughs> I'll show you my... I have like... All kinds of really... These are my favorite kind of toys. I save these. I made sure I save these in the Cowboys. Cowboys are around somewhere I don't know where. This is really cool, long hard. And these are like hard rubber. Uh, elephant from circus. I had one of those metal circus sets. With a, it was really neat. I wish I had that box. I, t I don't know why. I think my uh, my parents, my mother just cleaned up the place. And she just tossed them, I guess. Or they got broken. They tossed them. A donkey. A mule, maybe. Yeah, a mule. And I have no idea. No memory. I don't know what happened to those toys. I had a western town, the, the circus, I think a farm set. This is really kind of cool, right? And uh, so I, but I saved the animals and I saved the cowboys. And uh, a cow, a purple cow, right? A little coat. These are really nicely done. Uh, really nicely done figures. Different round, round quality of these figures. This is part of the the Western town. It's really neat. Uh, you should have a lot of fun with that thing. This is a more recent one that I got with this doll camera. Made out of plastic, hard plastic. Tiger, I think, sir. And uh, the black horse. Part of the Western. Western town set. And most of the horses are. This one, I don't know if it is or not. It may not be. It may be part of the farm set I had. One of my favorite animals kangaroo. This is plastic. And, uh, I must have just. Some of these have bought because I found them in a store and I like animals. This came from the farm set. A uh, farm set with. It yeah, had, you know, chickens and ducks and, uh, lambs and, uh, there's a little deer. Fine. Well, the elephant, my circus set I used to have. Oh, wow, a tiger. I think that's from the circus set, too. He just had one color. Whatever the color of the rubber or plastic was. From the, uh, I guess from the farm set. Here's something that's really neat. This is from the, I think from the farm set. Cat. And a cocker spaniel. One of my favorite dogs. We had a cocker spaniel when I was a kid. And I have no idea what happened to it. It may have got ran over my car. I have no idea. Here, you know, here is a die cast. A goat. A die cast goat. Is there anything there or not? I think there's something there, but I can't, I can't make it out. China! This is China, I bet. Is it China? I don't know. Anyway, not bad looking for. Metal ones? Of course. Bambi! I have no idea where I got this at. Uh, Bambi. Okay. <laughs> no. Like a bear of some kind. Uh, another dog. Some of these. Don't ask me. I don't know where. An uh, alligator. I guess from a circus. I I, I guess. <laughs> it, uh, another horse from the probably the the, uh, the Wild West uh, place that it was. A saloon and a couple other a jail a, a jail a saloon and some a hotel I think a white skunk man that's really rare albino All right that reminds me a skunk another cocker um, I used to feed cats on about I had an office about two two and a half miles south of here this is a nice artist center maybe. And they used to feed cats there twice a day, and 
I'm going there at night. That's another bear, same bear, I think. And uh, one guy was there. It was like a, a dark camel. Oh, ammo. I like camels. And I flew out from the cast. I sat down and I would just wait until they got through eating. So I can clean up after them. And this is from, I think that's a baby moose. I don't know, it looks like one. And so, at one night, it might be a grizzly, the way that baby looks. Yeah. It does look like a grizzly. Uh, I was sitting there, and uh, a path, I uh, sat there, like, sitting against the side of the building. There's a building, a uh, 10 garage behind it. I sat behind a tin garage, it was a let on it, and there was a, a ledge, and uh, beyond my feet was well, only about maybe two feet until I dropped off. And one night I was sitting there, and here comes this, this skunk, followed by a smaller skunk, followed by three baby skunks. They walk right past in front of my feet. I, I, I didn't say a thing, and he, I don't think he noticed me at first. And they came, and I had cat food down a little bit, and walked over there and started eating on it. Swung around, and then they spotted me. And the male skunk got up and flapped his tail up and pointed in my direction, but I, I didn't move a muscle. And uh, they cooled, he cooled down, and they they, I guess they ate a little bit more, I don't remember, and they went their way. He went, they were going from uh, west to east, and they, and they went their way. And that was so unreal. And, uh, but it's also really funny, it's any, anything. Here's a horse from the Wall West. Okay. And, uh, so that was a, a polar bear is what I think. A brown polar bear. That's a face of a f polar bear. Okay. Here's a neat little dog, a sky. That's neat, but it's only black or white. <laughs> Not gr it's gray. Anyway, a sea lion, a seal. That's something I guess I got out of a machine. A giant bug. And a rain, a rain, bat rain, yes sir, Batman, no, and Fred Pool, I don't know where I got all these babies at, but I have to the Fred Pool, and uh, a blue tiger, well that's rare, oh wow this is a boxer, I have no idea where I got all these dogs, this is a little elephant, Oh, here's a polar bear that's actually white. Okay, tell us. Polar bear by the shape of the hand and the body. That's how you tell me. There's a little calf, black calf. Uh, that could be possible. A little fawn. Or young people in here or something. There's a... There, I guess. Pretty nicely done. There's no names, there's no names on there, nothing. They may have been American mates. Most of these may be made in the USA. Yeah. And, uh, but, uh, these are probably from the 1950s. Most of these. Well, there's a little lab. So, all that stuff is probably made in this country. All these were made in this country. Most of them. That, uh, die cast goat uh, probably wasn't. Okay. Uh, and another pointer. This may get boring, but. <coughs> you know, here's a dog. I. It reminds me of a rock rhymer, but I don't know. Uh, 
Where you guys talking? Dog. Brown baby elephant. Yes, I did. Oh, here's something. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good workmanship for for something that's mass produced. Oh, wow, all right. Here's one of my, my, my uh, horses from, uh, from the uh, Western place set with a uh, bright hole you put on it. The sow, see, unstrap that sow. The sow you put on. That is really good workmanship for uh, something like this. You won't find that. I don't think you'll find that anymore. Uh, everything is so generalized and so mass produced. And this kind of detail work is just, this is like a uh, you know, more farthing quality type or toy biz quality type. Or just a toy for a kid. That is really cool. Oh, a white tiger? Aha. Uh -huh. I used to play with this guy a lot. Hang from a trapeze or something, I can't remember what. Bison! Really one of my favorite animals. Bison. I only want to have a bison, a real one. But, both things are mean. These are really being pressed. I'm walking down the street where these at the end of a leash. Oh, yeah, scare the shit out of everybody. Of course, Michael Jackson's favorite animal is a giraffe. Black horse. I think this is from the Western playset. <coughs> this is a zebra. See the stripes? Zebra. It just looks like a little horse. I know the boxer. Another horse. A little bit dirty. Uh, what happened there? No damage. I paint it. All right, come on, paint it, horse. All right. Really. And looks like the same one, except a different color. A twin horse. Different color. Oh wow, here's another one of these horses from a western place set with a saddle. Get up close to that saddle. These are really great. I didn't realize I had these. I haven't looked at this box in ages. And another horse that was white. <laughs> okay. And the mouth is open this time. Yeah, I think. Hey, you forgot about me. Okay. <coughs> a buffalo, or a ranger bison, as they call it. And a steer. This is probably from the Western place set. Okay, it's really a neat place set. I'll probably, uh, try a picture of it. I think I looked one time they have on the internet, but. <coughs> Uh, I wish I still had that stuff. That's another one. Uh, just, what what can you do? <coughs> That's why it's important you respect your kid's integrity. And protect, uh, it may not mean nothing much to them right now, but later on they may tear us those little trinkets and toys they have that really, you know, may not mean more for much. This horse has been struck. Look, somebody chew off his feet. Anyway, a white sky. And a cat. That's why I would never throw away any child's toy. I uh, wait till they're adults. So they can throw them away themselves. A uh, parrot. Uh, even if it means written a place to store all the crap in. That's a nice dog. Big old, I guess. That way, if you want to keep it, it's, it's theirs to throw away. It should be in discretion of a parent because they don't have the room for it. After all, it's about the future, you know about the past. Okay, here's something that everybody loves. Of course, that's on a plate, not in the backyard. And, uh, 
mirror. Now, mirrors are nice. Oh, I see you have a garden and they're in it eating everything up. Here's another uh, boxer. Boxers are very interesting dogs. But well, these are like a pit ball of the past. Uh, there's a yellow crocodile. By alligator or whatever. And here's another horse with a mouth open. Oh, great one. Very nice sculpting on the face. And here's a bear eating something. A fish, I think. Could be a broad bear, a grizzly bear, or a Kodak. All three fish. It's not a polar though. Too massive. Here's a hard plastic zebra. And this is a uh, more recently acquired when I was young. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, it says, uh, it says something I can't read it. Let's see if I can sneak up. Uh, oh, okay. Something like uh, a T R G E egg, toy and USA, made in USA. Okay. A brown zebra. Well, I didn't quite have the colors quite right. I've never seen a brown zebra before. Okay, I must have got something from Disney. Here's a thumper. Can't believe I remember his name. Uh, this is from a farm set. A hen. I'll have another one. One time I went and raised uh, chickens in my yard, but I see cold really forbids it. But now, that was years ago, but now they have eased up on, on that. Uh, this is a neat animal. A fox. I like foxes, but they tend to, uh, they're good predators. And they eat, uh, mostly small mammals like rats and uh, smaller animals. Even, uh, I think reptiles and amphibians. I'm getting down to my small ones. This is another one of those dogs that I think is a rock rhymer. It's a, oh wow, this is a cheetah. Talk about the spots. A cheetah. Friggy animal. A cat outside looks like one of those. Tiger? That was black. Oh, yeah. Okay. Another fox. I like raccoons, but in game my yard ate all my goldfish. <laughs> Plus, I chew up with all my plants and just tore them out of the pots. And I, uh, I don't know if I like them or not. But, but my yard is so that my neighbors they think I'm trying to attract animals to my yard, but I'm not. Just that uh, what animals like and what I like are. I guess the same thing, uh, because what, I, what humans like and what I like are, necess are not necessarily the same thing. Sheep. I grew up with animals, I like animals, and uh, it's just uh, a little pig. I was going to become a vet at one time, but I, uh, I changed my mind and got into plants instead. And here's a little puppy. Das Hound. You used to have a neighbor where my, where my parents' house was on the other side of town. They had two Das Hounds. And uh, I had two daughters. 
polar bear, I think. Uh, little pig. And these, remember, these are all from the Nike Fitchies. Most of these are. Yeah, they have to be because, uh, I was when I was a kid in the 50s, 40s, and 50s, but 50s when I get getting these. Uh, uh, a smaller boxer. Oh, wow, how did you this get in here? Wow. This is a strange farm animal. Yeah. A lizard. Oh, yeah. Kind of ancient lizard. This must be from the western place that of a calf running. Probably is a rope. Him. Here's one that's different. A rabbit. <coughs> that reminds me. When I was, when I was a kid, there used to be jack rabbits. Just uh, you go across the street. Cause I live in a house, and there's a house next door. In that corner, across the street on the south side, was a uh, all farmland, and uh, there was a uh, water all drained into a swampy area, and uh, there were jack rabbits out there. That's the only place I've ever seen jack rabbits in this valley, and. Uh, also, there were uh, like kill deer and other birds and things you've never seen anywhere else. Here's a, a middle rabbit. Oh, where can I get this at? Oh, a white tail, white tail. It's made out of metal, die cast, a die cast rabbit. This is neat. Uh, I guess this is a dog. Uh, could be a wolf or a coyote or a shepherd. So those dogs are hard to kill. Your little Parker. Yes, sir. Oh. Hmm. A monkey there. With a curly tail. And, uh, Hello, puppies. <laughs> right, you may know the goss hound. Uh, hey. Okay. Oh, wow, you may have a cobra. I have no idea where I got this baby at. It may have been with a circus. Uh, yeah, that's probably where it came from. Circus. A lamb. Right. Little bunny. Is that plastic bunny? Plastic bunny. Here's one that's, oh, it looks like he lost his ear, oh goodness, uh, one ear bunny, it's plastic, a proud parker, a small bear, lamb, another, another monkey, oh he's having fun, swing from tree to tree, Cat from the western playset. Rain. Uh, die cast dog. Uh, collie, maybe. Die cast collie. I have no idea where I got those at. Not bad. Here's a small. Maybe a cocker. We have a long floppy ears. A goat. That's kind of neat. Goats are very interesting. A pink pig. Yeah, I'm finally getting one that's the right color almost. Yes, sir. Ready for harvesting. Uh, I got some crap on this thing. Some of these I guess I get worse off. It may be crap too, literally. <laughs> I mean, wash my ass at that like this. A uh, sheep with crap on his ears. I don't know what we got into. Another raccoon. 
Here's a die cast, St. Bernard. This is kind of neat. Oh, this is already 25 minutes long. Sorry, or the length, but you wouldn't see it. So I'm showing you the whole box. Okay. How about a die cast penguin? Uh, a little puppy. A little tiny bird. Another tiny little bird. Make the same kind of cousin of it. A bell, a uh, die cast. Yeah. Die cast duck. Okay. A little chicken. A little chick. There's a rabbit with a card. That's what Jack Rabbit used to do. They sat out there with their ears up. Well, they could run, they had long rear legs. Oh, this is one of my favorite animals, beavers. We actually have, I, uh, they were, uh, I think there were beavers up in the mountains to uh, about 20, 30 miles north of here. I don't know their beaver dams, but I don't know if they're built by beavers or not. We have muskrats in the area. I've seen muskrats. By the great school you see, uh, go to, they have, there's a lake. And it has a little duckling lake, and there's muskrats in that lake. Don't know if they're still there or not. The lake is still there, but, uh, there's a calf, a monkey. I think it's going like this. Yeah. Curly tail. A big rooster. Cow. Dog. A calf. My cat. Yeah. That last was a die cast dog. A squirrel. A little chicken. A baby giraffe. A little white porker. Another beaver. I know the bizarre lizard. Uh, where these things come from? Oh yeah. <laughs> Here's a little rabbit. Little bird. I guess these things are made in molds. It's really interesting. <laughs> it's got me in touch this one wall. A tiny little duckling. Can you believe that? That is tiny. Wow, believe it. And this is almost as bad, these little birds. I don't know, it must have been part of the farmer's set. I don't know, there's another one. And another one. Well, here's a common animal. A fly, oh yeah. This is die-cast, a die-cast lamb. I have no idea where I got these die-cast things from. It's been some kind of set or something. Okay. A little, I guess that's a duck, I don't know. A little chicken, a little chick. Another monkey. Really tell. I know the rabbit running. Pig. Also, this is one down from this is a die cast head. This is really cool. A die cast head.
pretty good art on this. Not bad sculpting for a die cast. For a hand, yes, huh? See inside there. Rooster! Almost done! Little burn. Little rabbit. Die cast half. Polar bear and cub. Yeah, die cast pig. Okay, this is half an hour long just on this part. So, I hope you can going to kill me on this thing. I may have to cut this film in half, but if not, you'll see the whole thing. Oh, I'll put it in your parts. Okay, hope you enjoy this. It's, I'm sorry it's so long, but I want to show you what's in my box of stuff from the 1950s. And, uh, it's history. Later.